celebrating robotics with a high-tech block party and STEM students from around the area. Levin is out live this morning in the seaport ahead of Robo Boston's annual robot block party to show us some interactive displays and speak to their creators. Lev. I would tell you what, the seventh annual starts tomorrow of the Robot Block Party, and we are get a chance to see all the preview. And joining me right now is Joyce Sidopoulos of, of Mass Robotics. And Joyce, first and foremost, how great is this event going to be? Awesome, of course. Um, <laughs> it's our seventh year doing it, so obviously people love coming. Yeah. It's a great showcase of everything robotic, so from universities and what they're, what they're inventing to robot teams and high school teams to our um, companies like you're going to see in a, in a minute. Um, so it's a great showcase of all things robotic and how robots are going to impact us in the future okay. in a good way. Yeah, so let's talk about some of those teams. We're joined right here by Jay from Luminous. And Jay, what is Luminous and how great is it that you guys have it here? Luminous is a company that's building these embodied robotic solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, these are 1,800 pound robots that are used to build solar farms. So there's a, a really difficult task, which is uh, lifting heavy equipment mm -hmm. in building out these solar fields. And Luminous is uniquely building these robots to pick up 80 pound solar panels and build out these solar farms. And as we keep going, Richie, we'll move over here to Johannes. And Johannes, tell me about the bees and Festa. Sure. Yeah, so uh, Festo is a global automation company, mm -hmm. and um, since several years, or since some years, we started to build up the Festo Bionic Learning Network. I love how these bees um, are taking flight. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Bionic Learning Network has, I think it's flying over us. Yeah. So the Bionic Learning Network aims at learning from nature for automation challenges in industry. And the, our latest like model, what we have here, are the Bionic Bees. Sure. Super lightweight, highly integrated uh, components here. Like, um, as you can see, all the sensors in there, uh, all the components, sure. highly integrated. And these are, in the end, um, guiding us in, in developing new solutions and uh, also spark interest in robotics. That's, yeah, fantastic. That's, uh, That's fantastic. He mentioned spark interest in robotics. And I'll say, Joyce, you have a STEM class or STEM stuff going on today. Talk about just having the kids come in here, the students, and learn everything that they get a chance to learn and see their eyes kind of yeah. bright and open. So today we have about 15 schools coming, maybe 400 students, and they're coming and going stationary to station so they'll get to talk to Johannes about the about the bees they'll be able to you know see the tackle robot we have underwater robots um, we have a bionic hand they'll be able to play with so to see them be able to kind of one-on-one -on -one work with the the technology and hopefully inspire them to go into tech I'm gonna ask you did you know when you first started this is that it would catch on so much and that you would see so many kids wanting to do this so the stem day we actually just started a couple of years ago and um, I'll tell you we have an amazing stem outreach program and it's it's great seeing the kids just get inspired by what they see. Kids need to like feel and touch things sure. to really understand what they're learning. So um, it's a great, it's a great way to do that. And when is it again? So let everybody know. So STEM Day is today, the but that's completely full. The block, block party? party is the 28th yeah. Saturday here in the Seaport, 88 Seaport Boulevard. Uh, we start with a robot parade at 10:45. So we'll have all the robots kind of coming down the sidewalk to a big ribbon cutting, and then an open house style festival. I tell you what, we knew, Brianna, that robots were going to take over. This is happening right now. And right now I'm <laughs> saying that I'm friends with all of them. I'm ahead yep. of the curve. This is going to be a fantastic weekend <laughs> to get a chance to meet these robots and get out of here and see them. And, and I've talked to them about you too, Brianna, so you're also friends of the robotic world. I Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Lev. I appreciate that. And actually, I think the bee robots are really cute. They seem friendly, so I, I wouldn't yes. mind those. They were very friendly. <laughs> All right, Lev, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We'll